Hello, this is Dr. J back with some more Let's Play Tiberian Sun. It is time to move on to the expansion pack Firestorm, now that we have completed the original campaign. McNeil defeated Kane. Seems like GDI stands triumphant, but as it turns out, there is a lot more conflict yet to come. Much more ominous menu music this time for Firestorm. We've got a world domination tour option. This was a new feature with Firestorm where uh, you basically picked a faction, GDI or Nod, and fought for control of territory over a series of multiple matches. It was kind of interesting. Uh, I think I played just a little bit of it. I remember having a fairly epic match where I was GDI and it was a two on two, so. You know, I got paired up with some random other player, and we were against two other random players. My ally got NG rushed and knocked out of the game immediately, turning it into a two-on-one. And after like an hour-long two-on-one slog, where my opponents demanded my surrender, I refused. I managed to cling on despite them getting my construction yard, defeated both of them, and it turned out that other GDI players in that area performed poorly, and we lost the region anyway, despite my my epic comeback victory, so just a little pointless story I wanted to share. Anyways, uh, here in Firestorm, both of the campaigns are entirely canon. Uh, so this isn't the case like in the OG campaign where the final Nod mission isn't canon. No, both of the campaigns are 100% canon in this. And we will be switching back and forth to form the most coherent narrative we can, and as before, the story is going to start with the Brotherhood of Nod, from the ashes. What is the meaning of this conference, Slavik? The decision has been made. Gentlemen, with the disappearance of Cain, the inner circle must stand united before the Brotherhood. That means a new leader must be chosen until the return of Cain. A decision is final, Slavik. We of the inner circle I have... stand here before you, the leader of the Black Hand of Nod. Watch and judge wisely. You were saying, gentlemen? What do you want, Slavic? Don't pander to this madman. We are the heirs of Nod. Slavic has proven time and Be again. Be careful of the next words you say, Marzak. It would sadden me to lose your support. Gentlemen, we are the Brotherhood. We must stand together. This is how Cain would have decreed. Your murderous tendencies solve nothing, Slavic. There is no Brotherhood without a leader. And you are not that leader. Your recent assignments have gained your promotion, Commander. As you can see, there are those who have forgotten the code of the Brotherhood, and they gain in numbers, fracturing the heart of Nod. The men you killed today are just a handful. We need order. Cabal. The Brotherhood needs Cabal. Cabal is order. Cabal is the hand of Cain. Cabal's data core, much like our brotherhood has been fractured. Infiltrate the GDI base at the Cairo site and recover Cabal's core. Now go. All right, so a lot to discuss before we jump into the first mission. First of all, uh, with this game, or with this expansion rather, Westwood abandoned the idea of the player having in-game avatars in the form of Slavic and McNeil and returned to the series standard of the player just taking on the role of himself or, you know, whatever personality he wants to imagine. And so it's kind of more first person. And now we have Slavic giving us our orders as our commander, which I think is pretty cool. Um, I think the Slavic works pretty well as the guy giving us our orders. 
he certainly has more presence than uh, the poor departed Seth did, even if he's not quite as awesome as Kane himself. Nonetheless, I like Slavic as a character. Uh, also, it seems that uh, the Brotherhood of Nod survives the death of Kane, but once again is fractured and currently without a leader. Uh, the other generals refuse to accept Slavic as the new leader for the Brotherhood, probably because he's such a monstrous psychopath, even by Nod standards. All right, so GDI is dismantling Cabal's core. Pretty smart move on their part. But we're not having any of that, and we're going to try to put a stop to that. So we have to get an engineer into the Temple of Nod to retrieve part of Cabal's core. All right, well, let's get started with that then. Firestorm had very experimental mission designs in some places and very sort of cinematic missions that kind of really tell a story and I seem to remember quite liking the missions in the Firestorm expansion. We'll see if my memory proves accurate on that point. But it definitely seemed like they crafted the Firestorm missions with a lot of love and care. So anyway, we've got a chameleon spy here, I believe. Or scout, whatever. Maybe he's not cloaked. Whoops, let's not stumble into that GDI patrol there. They seem like they're going to be an annoyance. Um, maybe we should go on this ridge up here. I have cleared Firestorm even less than Tiberian Sun. I might have only cleared the Firestorm campaign just once, to be honest, twice at the most, and a very, very long time ago at that. So as fuzzy as my memory was of Tiberian Sun in some ways, it's going to be much fuzzier where Firestorm is concerned. Just as a word of warning. So here's what I mean about some in-game storytelling. Seems like uh, some GDI soldiers managed to crash their APC. Uh, we, they now have adorable little emoticons that pop up when they talk sometimes. Suddenly, a Tiberium Fiend pops up and takes them out. Almost feels a little StarCraft. <laughs> it reminds me of that one cinematic where that sergeant and private uh, get ambushed by Zerg. But anyway we can capture the APC with an engineer. It becomes ours, and apparently those GDI soldiers were just utterly incompetent because we have no trouble driving that APC out of that little hole they had driven it into. Now, since we are given an amphibious APZ, a APZ, APC, I presume that means that we're supposed to take a ride on the water. What happened to our music? It's bizarre. It was playing Rain in the Night, kind of the quintessential Firestorm infiltration music. Uh, let's go to Scout. Maybe I should have, uh, speaking of Scouts, packed my Scout into this APC, but whatever. As I said, I don't really remember exactly what I'm supposed to do. So this isn't 100% blind, but it's close. All right, this looks promising. Okay, there's the Temple of Nod. Presumably this is all the uh, ruins of the Nod forces after McNeil finished them off in the final mission of the GDI campaign. All right, these guys are very cooperative about getting squashed, that's fortunate. Interesting. What are these civilians doing running around here? We might not want to get caught by that. Alright, let's... We're not allowed to destroy that sensor array. I suppose we could force fire on it, but if it's not hostile to us, we'll leave it alone. Um, I would like to pick up the rest of my forces with this. Is he smart enough to go across the bridge and around like this? 
I have my suspicions he's going to try to go through this GDI checkpoint. Yeah, I'm almost positive. Let's kind of direct him manually. Okay, looks like he's taking the smart path now. I'm wondering what these random civilians are doing here. Maybe they're helping GDI with uh, cleaning up after the battle. Salvaging and so on. Okay, we are hostile to the civilians, so we took a pot shot at one of them. I suppose I can kick the game speed up. In fact, I'm going to be bold and go to clown speed. There we go. Doesn't seem like we're really on a timer here. Uh-oh. Oh, that wasn't smart. After I went to the trouble to avoid it earlier, too. Doesn't seem like anybody's coming to kill us, though. So maybe we're okay. Maybe I should destroy this. Okay, we've recovered a piece of Cabal's core. Okay. Uh-oh. More of that scripting. Yeah, there's there's a lot of, like I said, cool in-game storytelling and, and dialogue and stuff. Uh-oh, they're going to try to destroy the temple. I wonder if I can sell it. I could. All right, our cyborgs will take care of this. I'm going to quickly make a scum save and see if selling the template nod causes me to lose the mission. Okay, it doesn't. Excellent. Where's my scout? Did I lose my scout somehow? Oh no! Sigh. Okay. I didn't even see him. He's too stealthy. Yeah, good thing we're not on any kind of time limit. Given that I am not controlling this like a genius. Okay. I think we're good. Alright. Do what you do so well, Scout. Not very smart of GDI to put these uh, ammo crates next to their light towers. And unlike in the main campaign, where destroying the ammo crates hardly ever seemed to do anything, seems like these really are scripted to blow up nearby buildings. And also draw some, uh, <laughs> some suspicious GDI sentries. Oh, you shouldn't have checked that out, guys. That's ending poorly for you. All right, let's have our scout check things out across the way. Another sentry. Uh-oh, GDI is moving a piece of the core. Maybe I have taken too long. I'm guessing that's a piece of the core, though I'm not positive. Oh, here they come again. Oh, they're coming from this other side, too. No, don't worry about the civilians. You have a bigger fish to fry. Got to cut that guy off before he kills my engineers or something. Okay, that was another piece of Cabal's core. Now, where's the final piece? Wow, look at them all. And by look at them all, I mean we've, what, fought half a dozen guys? Good thing the, G, uh, the cleanup crew that GDI left behind in the wake of the epic Cairo battle 
is pretty light. They did not leave heavy forces behind here. I'm guessing GDI is suffering from uh, staffing shortages, having probably taken a lot of casualties in the Second Tiberium War and cleaning up all the Tiberium and fighting Tiberium life forms and such. Alright, where is the final piece of the core? Oh, that's a. Uh... Wonder if they're just producing these infantry and there's an endless supply of them. Actually, I'm guessing that the final piece of the core is here. Okay, good thing that they don't have uh, any component towers guarding that gate. Looks like we can probably blow a hole in the wall there. A couple of guys on patrol. Our cyborgs can handle a whole lot of infantry, especially when we fight them piecemeal. But they will get killed eventually. They're not immortal, because we don't have any Tiberium to heal them up in. At least not the... Okay, there is some here, but I'm not backtracking that far. That would be ridiculous. I see ammo crates, I blow them up. I'm a simple man. Aha, is that the final piece of Cabal's core? Uh-oh, run! Okay, my cyborgs are not so good at destroying trucks, it appears. Alright. We got the last piece of the core. Uh, got a lot of enemies coming for us. I think my cyborgs can handle them, but I think it's about time for us to get out of here. Alright, we're down one cyborg. We got to hear the updated and much better cyborg death sound. Which actually has kind of a robotic sound to it and just doesn't sound like an ordinary dude. Alright, Scout, looks like you're going to have to find your own way out. So the... Where is our evac? There it is. That subterranean APC there. Now, you might hope the subterranean APC could come to us, but I guess we're not that organized, so we have to go to it. I'm just going to backtrack. Our amphibious APC should be able to get us there pretty quick. Not a difficult mission at all, but a mission with a lot of cool scripting, a lot of cool in-game storytelling. The little emoticons that the yes, units emit in the Firestorm expansion are really kind of adorable. So yeah, it's a nice little mission. Like I said, I feel like a lot of love and care went into these Firestorm missions. They, they really wanted to do something special with this expansion. All right, this should be good game to us. Man, the APC has trouble navigating those hills. All right, let's go ahead and make a save here. Operation Reboot. All right, this will be FS for Firestorm, Nod 1. And with this, Cabal's core is reassembled. That is an action that is going to come back to have some pretty severe consequences. In fact, it pretty much kick off, kicks off the entirety of the Firestorm expansion. Alright, well, I will rejoin you shortly for the first of the GDI missions. So, be right back. Okay, we're back, and now time to do the first mission of the GDI Firestorm campaign, Desperate Measures. Priority transmission. Eyes only. Dr. Gabriella Boudreau, Director, Daedalus Team. 
Awaiting security identification. Eva, this is Dr. Boudreaux. <clears throat> security code Delta Epsilon 4. Access transmission. Trados. Have you any idea what time it is? Doctor, I'm sorry to waken you, but the Daedalus team must be recalled to the complex at once. I have made a grievous error. Video comm set uplink signal lost. Searching. Attempting to reroute signal. We're clear, five by five. Thanks, Southern Cross. Stand clear for Kodiak dust off. Watch yourselves, people. Heading three zero nine north by northwest. Southern Cross, come in. Experience increased ion particle activity. to re-establish contact, image lost. Stand by. Accessing GDI command base, Southern Cross. Commander, you've been recalled from Operation Lazarus to head up the Firestorm Task Force. We've got a crisis here. We're at OpCon 2 tactical alert. Eva, bring the commander up to speed. Initiating global search for Kodiak location. All global satellites, down. Contact with the Philadelphia, down. Southern Cross is assuming GDI global command until the situation can be rectified. Be advised, what you are about to see is classified eyes only. This is the Tacitus data matrix. Our scientists claim that Kane's Tiberium experiments were conducted using knowledge gained from the device. Unfortunately, the Kodiak crashed off the coast of North Africa while transporting the device. Eva, do you have that report online yet? The Kodiak's beacon has allowed us to pinpoint its location. Uploading tactical data now. The Tacitus was en route to Trados when the Kodiak went down. Trados is the only person that can translate the damn thing. This is a straightforward recovery operation, Commander. Get to the site, locate any survivors, recover the Tacitus, Turn to base. All right, quite a bit to discuss once again. So, Umagan has suffered a terrible fate. That antidote that seemed like it cured her at the end of Tiberian Sun actually didn't work. It's accelerated her mutation and driven her insane. So arguably she has suffered a fate worse than death. That's pretty awful. Uh, no sign of McNeil. Uh, I guess getting back Michael Behan and General Solomon for the expansion would have been a tall order. And I seem to recall reading that Westwood decided they didn't like the character of McNeil for some reason. I think he's fine. But uh, anyway, we won't be seeing any of either of them in the expansion. 
Uh, in fact, the Kodiak uh, got hit by lightning from an ion storm and has crashed. When I first played this game, I assumed that the intent was that McNeil was in the Kodiak and he and the other characters from Tiberian Sun were killed in the crash. Apparently that's incorrect, and according to the lore, McNeil wasn't in the Kodiak at the time, and he survived uh, past all these events. We, we just don't see him in-game again. Uh, so we are now taking orders from this new character, uh, whose name I don't remember, General Paul somebody. Uh, I'll, I'll look it up. Uh, he is apparently the commander of Southern Cross. Currently we have lost contact with the Philadelphia. So this new general and Dr. Boudreaux are going to be the major new characters on the GDI side. Anyway, with that preamble out of the way, um, our first objective is to find the Kodiak, and we are going to want to use this truck to transport the Tacitus out of it, because we do not want that falling back into Nod's hands. All right, let's get going. All right, nope. Nod shows up immediately. Going for our engineers. We're not going to put up with that. Get wrecked, Nod scum. Alright, trying to put my guys into different groups. There's a subterranean APC they came in. And the non-coms will be group three. Alright, let's get to searching for the Tacitus. I wonder if we can go up that way. Church. We cannot shoot at it, and I won't force fire on it. That would be pretty out of character for GDI, I think. Alright, no going up that way. I still love how ominous the ion storms are. All right, GDI fighting alongside the Forgotten again. And they say, thanks, we saw something crash to the east. We also spotted a Nod MCV. Be careful. Thanks for the warning, guys. Glad to see some cooperation between GDI and the Forgotten. Not just looking down on them as scummy shiners. Maybe I should load up my engineers onto... Oh, my guys found a Viscroid. I think it's a baby. But they're destroying it preemptively, which is smart. Let's load up my engineers onto the uh, APC. Oh, looks like the mutants accompanied us. Okay, that would be a Tiberian Fiend. And I guess the Forgotten can't tell it to leave us alone, so we have to destroy it. Let's continue on our way. We've taken a couple casualties, but hopefully nothing too severe. In character, this mission is very similar to the first Nod mission. Uh, not too difficult. A pre-deployed mission where you have to make use of limited forces. Lots of scripting and in-game storytelling. Really, really like these kind of missions. Still looking for the Kodiak. Running into a variety of noddies. Pretty light resistance, though. Oh, look at this sneaky so-and-so. Trying to snipe us from the cliff. It's not going to end well for him. Aha! A single cyborg. Our titans will make quick work of it. System failure. This is so much more impressive than the Kodiak is depicted in the penultimate GDI mission in the original campaign. This thing actually looks huge. Really, really like this. Oh, really? I think they're over in this direction. Let's go take a look. Get an engineer into the Kodiak. Looks like the Kodiak is a loss. That is unfortunate. 
All right, let's get the truck over there, see if we... All right, can we recover it? I assume that... Yep. Okay, perfect. Our truck requires a trailer to show that it now is a Tacitus. Is that our extraction point? Oh. Yeah, I'm Storm's over. Hello, Devil's Tongue Flame Tanks. They won't do too well against our armored forces. An old enemy base here. Now I know that Nod tries to set up a base with their MCV that we can capture. But I don't remember where they do that. Okay, well, I would have liked to capture the enemy base because that would have been fun, but I guess we moved fast enough that it never even became a factor and it must have been farther to the west from there. Dang it, I forgot to make a save. Oh, well. All right, well, that is the first mission from each campaign in Firestorm complete. Reckon that'll make a good first episode for the expansion. Next time, we move onward to the second Nod mission. Hopefully you'll join me for that and I'll see you then.